Hello Queens and Kings, my name is Tandega Shabangu. Welcome to my channel. If it is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Welcome to the part two part tutorial of this uh, round beaded neck piece. So for this neck piece, in the previous video, we only prepared our grass ring and we added the belt on the outside. So for this tutorial, we're going to add a belt on the inside and then elder belt going downwards so let's get started queens and kings what materials we'll be using just take the the grass ring that you're working on on the previous video and then you also need your two belts a belt that is going downwards and the belt that is going in on the inside the belts as i've said before it's up to you what pattern you're going to make in this channel, we do have a lot of uh, patterns that we've done before. You can check those all out and then you can decide on where your inspiration takes you. Okay, let me show you the belt we're going to be using. These are the two belts. For this one, we do have a tutorial on this one. Uh, this is a Ndebele stitch black and white pattern. Remember, we had this tutorial. I think it has about three or four parts, if I'm not mistaken. And then this is the belt that we're going to be doing on the inside. So once you have, how do, would you make your belt? For the, this belt is the one that I will be moving downwards. This belt is flexible. You don't have to worry about the size. But the belt that is going to go on the inside, that is the part that you have to be worried about the size. Make sure that your sizes are accurate. So what did I do? I measured the thickness of the width, the width of the belt, and then I created the belt according to the width, and then I measured the length. Now, this is a tip I usually use when I'm doing the belt on the inside, because it's a bit challenging to measure accurately the size of the belt that is going to be needed. What did I do? I did not completely close my belt on the end so as you can see the needle and the thread is still attached in case maybe i have to decrease the length of the belt or i have to increase the length of the belt because let's be honest measuring the inside is a bit tricky it's really difficult to get the accurate accurate measurement but one thing you should make sure is that your thickness the thickness of your belt is the one that is accurate. So queens and kings, let's get started. So here I have my needle and my upholstery thread. I'm just going to make two knots. One, two. Just two knots to make sure that everything will be nicely secured. Casual. So now this is my around neck piece ne? so when you look at it closely we have this point where we started at because it has because this is where we joined our belt that is the very same way we're going to start same place where we're going to start um stitching our inside belt now because we're not sure of the measurement we can't start by joining the two ends of this belt together before we attach it to the neck piece. We can't do that because it's going to be the last thing that we do. So the first, our plan of action is to install, it's to first stitch on one side and then we stitch on the other side, on the top and then at the bottom. So make sure that your, so this part is going to be the back part of your round neck piece. Make sure that the belt matches the same, the inside belt matches the back, the outside belt. What do I mean by that? This is where we started uh, when we were stitching our outside belt. This is the area where we started at. The same thing with our inside belt. This is the same area we're going to start at. So you have your needle and your upholstery thread. Now remember, the stitches are the same for this belt. Remember, we, we talked about the two beads that are on the side. 
like this one in this belt those are the beads that we are going to use i'm going to go to my belt take my needle and then so these are the first two beads that we're starting with it so we have to make sure that our needle is on the side before these two beads so i'm just going to insert my needle like this make sure it's secure okay it wasn't secure let me just insert it on the first pass and then the second second bead oops it keeps slipping slipping away <laughs> okay what I'm going to do because it slips away I'm just going to make a knot around it create a loop then insert your needle into the loop and then make the knot in between the two beads this white bead and this black bead and I'm going to insert my needle one more time into this black bead Okay, this is fine. We're going to stop here. Now, I'm not going to insert it into the black bead because it's too narrow for the needle. Okay, snip off the tail. Now let's get started with our belt. Now, queens and kings, remember when we were joining these two belts, uh, when we're joining the ends of the two belts on the outside on the part one video, we were using the loop method where it would create like an O effect. Ne? We're going to do the same thing with our two beads on the side. So if you notice for this stitch, each bead has two, two, two on the side. So those are the parts that we are going to be using to join our, our belt. So because I've already had my needle on this side what i'm going to do now i'm going to take the two from this side let me start to this side so these are the two black beads that i'm going to use from the grass ring so this is my needle into the first bead and then into the second bead now then i pull my thread nicely and slowly to avoid what knots good 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 <laughs> perfect 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 okay let me just pull it it's going to be also a bit challenging for your needle to be maneuvering because remember the the, the beads have been having a thread like a lot of times. I don't know how to explain it. There's there's already thread in the belt, in the beads while we're making the belt. There's already thread while we're installing the belt to the round, to the grass ring. So also having more thread, it's also going to be a bit hard to make your bead pass through nicely. Then I go back to my belt. I insert it into the two, two beads on the side from my belt. And then what do I do? I go back into the two, two beads. So I'm creating like a circle, a O, like this, in the motion that I'm moving in. Need to be patient with this part, queens and kings, because as I've said before, it's going to be challenging for your beads to <laughs> have so many, so many, so many. Okay, let me do this off camera. So as you can see, it's out of the two. So now I've completed the circle. I go back to the belt and set my needle into the two beads on the side then I pull my thread 
nice and gentle. Okay, then I take a needle, then I go back into this part, into the two beads that are from, from the belt. Oh, sorry, I just realized I was showing you my fingers. These are the two beads. These the two white beads, ne? So I insert my needle on the first and second. I need to be very gentle. Okay, firstly on the first bead, and then on the second bead. Then I pull gently. Then I go back, remember I'm creating a circle. Then I go back to the original two beads, the black and white bead that I had. Then I pull my needle. Okay, so the first and the second are installed. Now we focus on the third one. So when you look on the next door, we have two beads, two black beads. So that's where we're going to insert our needle. First bead and then the second bead. Once you've done that, you go back into the two beads from the belt. So you move in a circular motion. Set my needle on the first bead. It's a white and a black bead. Set my needle into the second bead and then I pull. Gently. Then once I've done that, I go back to the two black beads from the grass. Insert my needle into the first bead. Then I insert my needle into the second bead. And in that way, the circle is created. So I'm going to do this for the first part all the way around installing my belt all the way around then i'm gonna come back once i've done so i'm just going to keep using this circle um method this o method going up down up down opposite side the next side up down up down all the way it's like you're creating a circle ne? so then i'm gonna come back and show you how i went about once i've done the entire round round grass breed. Okay, queens and kings, this is what I meant when I said I did not completely close off the belt because you see the gap. So this gap is going to help me. So that's why I did not completely close um, the belt and I had 
the thread sticking out so that I can continue with the pattern just to make sure that it's nice and secure just to close the gap this is what I meant so let me quickly close this gap up and I've stitched up until this point and then yeah I'll come back so what I'm going to do I'm just going to go on my right hand side of the belt and insert my needle into the three beads There we go. And then I go back to the left hand side. I move upwards. I also insert into three beads. Pardon me as I do this off camera. There we go. <laughs> Sorry for that. Okay, I insert it here. And then I go back into the three beads on my right hand side. Once I've created that circle, I go to my left hand side. I move downwards like this. And then on my right hand side, I move upwards. I insert my needle into the three first the two and then the one it's easier that way sometimes and then what do I do I pull my thread and I've done that I go back to my left hand side I move downwards Go to my right hand side and I move downwards on my right hand side. Go to my left hand side and I move upwards. Back to my right hand side, I move downwards. You see, so this is just how I'm going. I join the two ends, then go to the other side, I move downwards. On my right hand side, I move upwards. left downwards and then we go to the other side downwards kanjalo kanjalo <laughs> kanjalo kanjalo as you can see Downwards on my right. Then, because these are the other are the corners, I'm just going to add my thread into two beads instead of three. And here we are, okay? So now, once we've done that, just take the very same thread and you're just going to trim all the way around this bottom part, all the way around until you get back at this point. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this off camera and then I'm gonna come back 
and then we're going to insert our tie and then we are done and kings i am done with adding the belt on the other side as you can see let me flip it and this side so both sides the belt is nicely installed ne? so now our next step is to attach the tie part of the belt so this is the belt we will be attaching so there's a tutorial on this belt uh, on the channel yes i think it's called black and white ndebele stitch pattern yes so this is you if you are interested in learning this pattern you can go on that video so what we're going to do now is attach this belt into our grass ring ne? okay so one thing you need to take into consideration is the back right this is the back part of your wheel so this is where we intentionally uh, joined our belt on the outside and we made sure it aligned with how where we joined our belt on the inside ne? so now what you need to make sure is that this is the belt and make sure you see the front now the front is where we are going to install the the belt make sure that it's exactly aligned with the back part ne? okay so what we're going to do we're going to take our thread this is the start of the show our thread and our needle what i'm going to do let me see okay i'm just going to make i just wanted to see if i should make it a double thread or i'm going to make it a double thread because the belt is heavy so i need to make sure that the thread is what nice and strong to carry the belt while we attach it ne? especially because the belt will, will be pulling down due to gravity so i'm just gonna make two knots one two and then i pull my thread so these are the two knots so what i'm going to do i'm going to go into my belt like this and then i'm going to poke random linje at one part then i come up but my main goal is to get to this point ne? move all the way it's going to move two beads up And now I'm going to move here at the corner. That's where we want our thread to be here. So now we have our belt here over here. So now we want to install it. Ne? So we're going to move from the belt to the to the ring. From the ring back to the belt. From the belt to the ring. From the ring back to the belt. That is the process that we will be using. But another thing we have to make sure is that our belt should be attached straight. Not attached like uh, like this. But it has to be attached nice and straight. Ne? So, because of this pattern, we'll be focusing on these parts. So, let's go let's poke our needle here. Then once I've done that, I go back to my belt. Okay, let me just put it like this. And then I go back up. I 
go back up and then the bead that is in the same line if you can see this bead and this black bead they're on the same line one two three four five six seven they're on the same line so make sure that when you go back you go back in the same line so it's the same process insert your needle into that bead and then up then once you're done you come back come back to the next to the belt so for now I'm just gonna pick insert my needle into the three beads then I pull Then I go back next door and I move up. Make sure you pull nicely so that there's no thread showing. So when you're at this point, make sure that you pull. So that you won't have a uh, thread showing so as you can see this thread it's showing a bit so just make sure that you pull your work nicely and then you go back and insert your needle into the next bead into the grass ring so you're going to continue with this process all the way until you get to the end i'm just going to do this off camera and then i'm going to come back i'm back and i've attached my belt now i'm at this point i want to secure my thread so that i can cut it out so what do i do i just go in between the beads i poke my needle and i create a loop and then i insert my needle into that loop and then I make a knot so this knot is going to be in between the beads and then I go down a bit maybe three beads I go three beads down I pull my needle I do the very same thing yes. I poke my needle in between the beads, I create a loop and I insert my needle inside the loop. Then I slowly pull. You're gonna hear it go <laughs> like it's it's in place. Then I move another bead to another two beads down. I'm doing this just to safely secure the thread. And the reason why I'm, I'm very thorough with it is because this part has to be strong. So everything about it has to be strong because it's pulling the, the grass ring down. So you have to make sure that it's, it's nicely tight. So by making a lot of many knots, it, it helps us to, to make sure it's secure. Just pull this needle. Let me pull the needle. Mm -hmm. There you go. Set my needle. I pulled the, the, the needle down. And then I do the same thing. I poke my needle in between the beads. And then I create a loop. Then I insert the needle inside the loop. As you can see, inside the loop. And then I pull. And I pull it in place. 
And then I do this the last time at the very same spot. So with my needle into the loop and then I pull. Ta -ta. Then once I'm done, I cut off the excess thread. Even here, what do I do? I cut off the excess thread. So this is the back part of the grass ring. Let me just flip it. And this is our belt secured into our... So this is the front part. So you can see this is our belt nicely secured into our grass ring. Here it is. So we've done this uh, this project Queens and Kings. We're finally done. We've done, remember on the first part, we t took our grass ring, we prepared our grass ring and we inserted belt on the outside. And then for t today's part, what did we do? We added the belt on the inside and then we added, we attached our tie. Thank you so much for watching Queens and Kings. I love you guys so, so much. Remember to love yourself, respect yourself, honor yourself and have fun. If you love the content that you're seeing, please consider subscribing. <laughs> See you on the next video. Bye.